Oh, hey you. What are you doing on my roof? I got a request from Ruby C on YouTube. She wants to see a homemade squash soup. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go get started. Oh yeah, and don't forget to give this video a like. Thanks. I started off this request by doing some recipe research. I've made plenty of butternut squash soup before, but I had some delicata squash that I wanted to use. After looking into some recipes, I found most of them were pretty much the same. So this one is dedicated to almost any squash you'd like to use. For this example, I'll be using both delicata and pie pumpkins to display the recipe. You will also need one yellow onion, small diced, two stalks of celery, cleaned and then cut into small dice, three cups of vegetable stock, one cup of almond milk or coconut milk, one tablespoon of olive oil, and then salt and pepper to taste. You can also add a variety of different seasonings into your soup to make it taste different. I'll include some details in my blog post that won't be in this video. For the garnish of this soup, I'll be using the seeds from the squash, a little bit of olive oil, and salt. To begin, preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Wash the outside of your squash, and then cut in half. Remove the seeds. Save some of the seeds for roasting as a garnish. Lightly grease a baking sheet with olive oil, then arrange squash on the baking sheet, cut side down, and then bake until squash is tender. This will take about 35 to 40 minutes. Once squash is tender, remove it from the oven and set aside to cool. In a medium heavy bottom sauce pot, add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Add onions and celery and then sweat until onions have become translucent. You can also caramelize these on a low and slow temperature to add a different flavor to your soup. Add in the stock and bring to a simmer. If you're making the garnish, line your sheet tray with parchment paper. Clean seeds, then dry them with a clean kitchen towel. Arrange them on a parchment lined baking sheet and then drizzle with olive oil and a sprinkle of salt. Toss them to coat and then bake in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. Once squash is cool enough, scoop out the flesh using a large kitchen spoon into a medium bowl. Add squash to the stock pot. If you noticed your squash was not quite as tender as you'd like when you were scooping it, use this time to simmer the squash until it is fully tender. Once squash is nice and tender, use an immersion blender and thoroughly puree. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can also use a regular one. I'll also put a link in the description for the one I have so you can purchase it off of Amazon. The Veggie Nerd will also receive a small commission. This will help support future recipes. Blend in almond milk or coconut milk. Season with salt and pepper. And then serve hot. Garnish with toasted seeds. And your squash soup is done. I'll have a link with the fully written recipe and a few additional ideas in the description. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eric. I make nerdy vegetarian lifestyle content. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a future recipe. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one.